So today I'm going to show you guys how I made this 34-35 Ariana Grande promo animation. So where you're starting off here in After Effects, you're going to want to type out the text you want to use. I used Out Now, but um, you can use any text you want, new music, anything you like. Then you're going to want to scale it to your liking and align it horizontally and vertically. So then you're going to want to rotate the text um, 90 degrees and then add the effect CC Reptile. And then you're going to want to expand it to the right. Next, you're going to want to add the effect of CC Cylinder and then rotate it on the Z axis, negative 90 degrees. Then you're going to want to go back and just delete the expansions. This was just to let us form it to the cylinder horizontally. Next, I added keyframes to rotate the text on the Y axis to get it to go up and down like it's adhering to a cylinder. So add the keyframe at the beginning of the timeline and then where I wanted it to rotate to the bottom. So you can just watch what I'm doing. And then you can just adjust the time to your lack and how fast or how slow you want to move it. So then you're going to want to pre-compose this and move all attributes into this composition again and add the effect of CC scale wipe. So this is how we're going to get the text to look like it's liquid. So this part is really important. It's kind of hard to explain. So just watch what I'm doing. I'm adding keyframes at the stretch in the center of this effect and then adjusting it to how I want it to scale and like appear as liquid. So yeah, just watch what I'm doing. So wherever you move the center from is where it's going to stretch. So if you stretch it negative, it's going to stretch down and then stretch it, move the stretch positive, it's going to stretch up. So just make sure you have multiple keyframes where it doesn't stretch at all so you can still read the text. And so just copy these keyframes. I, I put this here so you can copy the exact keyframes that I did because it's kind of hard to explain. So if you need to pause the video and just copy the keyframes and that's how it should look. Now you're going to want to pre-compose this composition again, move all attributes, and add the effect of CC Smear. This effect allows the text to fall off from one end to the other. So pay attention to what I'm doing. I'm moving the to and from points um, where I want it to fall off. So the from point is at the top left side of the text, and then the to is at the bottom left side. So you're going to want to move it where you want the text to fall off. And then you add keyframes to the radius. So you add a keyframe at zero and then a keyframe to however long it takes to stretch the text off the screen. And excuse the, tech, the screen for glitching. It's, I think it's because my computer like overheats while I screen record, but I'll find a better way to screen record in the future. So now you duplicate your layers. You can hit Command D on Mac and duplicate the layers however many you need to make it how long you want your text to appear. And then you're gonna to wanna to move those, each, you're gonna to wanna to move each layer a few keyframes away from it so it appears at different times. So your composition should look like that. Select all those compositions and pre-compose them again. Now we're gonna create a new composition. This will be our full composition. You're gonna use this width and this height because it's the standard size for our IG story. It's 1080 by 1920px. So first, you can hit Command Y to create a new solid and choose the color you want your stars to be. I chose like a very, very light yellow, a pale yellow, almost white looking. And then you add the effect of CC Starburst. And you can adjust the scatter um, to your liking. And that's pretty much it. You can get more in depth with it and more customizable, but that's just what I did. I just adjusted the scatter. So you're gonna wanna drag your Ariana Grande cover, align it horizontally and vertically. And then we're gonna add keyframes at the scale, rotation, and position. So however you want it to end, add keyframes there. And then you're gonna move your timeline indicator to the beginning and adjust it to how you want it to come on screen. So I did zero to make it seem like it's like coming at us and then rotation at one. 
we're not gonna adjust the position just yet, but you can. And then add a motion blur. And then now I'm just adjusting the time because um, it's going too slow right now. And then boom. So now we're gonna select all of our keyframes, right click and then hit easy ease. And this is where we can go and adjust the graphs to how fast or slow we want it to move. If you want it to scale up larger towards the end or if you want it to rotate larger or rotate faster towards the end. So just watch what I'm doing. So now I'm adding a keyframe under position so the cover can slide up so what before our text appears. And I removed that middle keyframe under the position keyframes because I just wanted to slide up immediately. And now we're going to bring our text composition into this new composition. And then, and then place the text where you want it to go. Place it underneath the cover so it looks like it's coming out of the cover. And then we're going to make it 3D to give it a cool effect. So I just adjusted the three, the Y rotation in 3D to make it look a, a little more interesting. You don't have to do this. So you can really just customize it to your liking. You can adjust the Z rotation, the X rotation, however you want. Then we're going to add the effect of a light wipe to the text comp layer. And this will give a cool effect like it's appearing. It's like a cool transition effect where it appears as a light wipe. So you're going to make a keyframe under zero and then however much you want the light wipe to appear, you can change it to doors, light wipe, to round, to square wipe, light wipe, however you want. And I did 72%, but you can do 100%. It doesn't matter. And then here's the final product. You can always adjust how fast you want the text to move. You can always go back into your compositions. So you can always change it and adjust it to your liking if you don't like it, how it comes out, or if you want it to move faster or slower, however you want. And there we go. If you have any other requests for tutorials or promo edits, leave them down in the comments below and subscribe so you never miss an upload. See y'all next time.